Yo guys, this is Orbit here from TGN and in this video we are going to be taking a look at the brand new tier 5 alert which is available with the DLC 8 or obviously you will have this if you are legendary. Um, now this is my very very first time being in this alert and you know obviously I needed to record it for the channel so I kind of shout out in, the, in league chat. Um, who fancies doing it and I had a little look at the feet list and I I saw that there was a, a speed feat um, to complete this alert in under 10 minutes so I kind of told everybody who wants to have a go at the speed feat and you know got a rounded up group and in we went thing is um, when you go for a speed feat you need to go for a speed feat um, there's far too many people who try and just speed feet but like half-heartedly and it doesn't work you know you can get lucky sometimes but you need to um, prepare for speed feats um, so uh, I was buffed up everyone was buffed up and we went in with two DPS's um, the, the idea without a tank is that the, your two DPS's need to be good um, you can't just do it with two casual DPS's but as long as you've got two really good DPS's you can actually just burn down everything you see before you, they get the chance to do enough damage to worry about uh, so that was the tactic well actually the, we didn't really have well I didn't have a tactic because I've never been in this alert before so I was kind of like, you know, is there anything I need to look out for with, with these bosses? Um, they're like, no, no, no. So, I mean, they didn't give too much away. So I was like, right, okay. So the tactic pretty much is I'm a raging bull and I'm going forwards and I'm plowing forwards. And anybody who gets into my way is going to be crushed and disposed of. And, so, and that's, that was the game plan. And that's, that's what happened. That's what happened. Um, halfway kind of halfway through the alert I'm kind of thinking you know this is kind of going quite well uh, we're going pretty fast but then you know there's an awful lot of cutscenes and I'm starting to scratch my head and kind of think we ain't gonna do this we ain't gonna do this this is actually impossible because we're going at we're going at a decent speed here um, you know how much time do I need to sh do we need to shave off to get this because you know we're going super fast and the time is just ticking like over 10 minutes it's ticking away and I was like we've like, we haven't done this we haven't done this guys we've got to go in again we've got to s s try jumping over some ads or something I don't know um, but it's, something's not going on here um, things you can't jump over the ads because you've got switches and stuff to do so I was a bit confused as to uh, you know how this is going to be done but it turns out that the cutscenes actually don't don't count towards the, towards the feet, which is good because if the cutscenes did count, it'd be it'd be way too hard, way 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 too hard. Um, I actually thought this the penultimate boss was the last boss, so you know, and that was like literally very very close to ten minutes. Um, so that was close to ten minutes. I'm like, come on guys, come on guys, this. Let's get them down quick and get them down and they're like you know that's not the last boss and I'm like shit well we haven't done it then <laughs> so we trot her off into the last boss room and it's obviously Trigon comes out and Trigon's just this is huge cutscene literally this huge cutscene and I'm like tapping X you know when you tap X and it does absolutely nothing but in your mind you know it's going we're going faster because you're just spamming X and it's like yes ready to go so I was kind of <laughs> kind of doing that and at the same time I was looking at Trigon and saying shut the fuck up and let, come on let's get on with it because he's just chatting so much crap at the end you'll see you'll see the cutscene in, in a minute he's just talking 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 and I'm just looking looking at the time because the, the time is on the recorder I'm looking at the time and I'm thinking there's no way because the time was on about 12 13 minutes and I'm like, there's no, we can't shave two minutes off. Two minutes is too much. You can't shave two minutes off at the speed that we are going at. But turns out, anyway, that this, the cutscenes didn't count. I know that they definitely used to count in previous. I don't know if they um, have changed that now, um, but I definitely know 100% that you know in previous content the cutscenes and that kind of stuff do count. 
to speed feats, which you know is frustrating because you can't cut the you can't um, skip the cutscenes. So it's almost as that if this, you know say there's some minutes worth of cutscenes and it's a 10 minute speed feat, it's almost as if the speed feat is actually nine minutes because it's nine minutes which is in your control which you can actually worry about. Um, so obviously it was cool to finally, well, to finally, to, I say finally as if I've been doing that for months, but it was cool to get the feet out of the way first time, um, but more, which was more cool, which, you know, just made my day even more, is I finally got, obviously the loot is automatic now, so um, that's good, you don't need to open up loots and stuff because you get your own loot, so your own loot is kind of dropping into your inventory as you're going through, which is really good for speed feats, you don't need to open up your menus and fiddle around needing them, greeting them, whatever. Um, so obviously I didn't really pay attention to any of the loot, it was just dropping in my inventory until we finished the um, alert, and then I opened it up and guess what was in there? Go on, have a guess the one-handed my trusty one-handed 86 item level was in my inventory and if you haven't been watching my previous videos I've been doing everything with a PvP weapon including this video this is all with my PvP weapon and I'm just it's kind of that like missing jigsaw that I needed just that that um that one-handed I needed that PvE top level one handed and bang there it is in my inventory and I literally stuck it straight on and I felt like King Arthur just after he pulled the stone like uh, sorry he's pulled the sword out of the rock and it was in my hand and I was just like yes I am now invincible <laughs> uh, no but definitely like I was I was doing some of the daily stuff after this obviously with the PvE weapon now and it makes a huge difference literally I didn't think it would make a massive difference but uh, it definitely 100% does make a difference so if you're doing PvE with, PvP, with a PvP weapon you know like I was try your best to get a PvE weapon um, because it does make a difference and yeah literally enemies will just get absolutely squashed by just numbers just by critical crit bubbles just getting squashed after this and you know so look my next PvE video obviously I'll have this on and you'll be able to to see that but you can see guys that the damage is really really good as Earth DPS I had a little bit more time these are ads are a little bit stronger than the duo ads which you've been watching lately um, so it gave me a little bit more time to cycle through my rotations and stuff um, and you know ultimately getting a little bit more damage so very very good uh, so I'll just quickly go over the loadout obviously I am using unstoppable which is my move which will daze it's an AOE area daze so a anybody that will daze um, I'm also using debris field debris field will do more damage to all enemies within that area that are dazed so it's very important that you daze them first and then throw your damage over time debris field down then I'm using one handed now one handed is actually quite a slow weapon to use if you're not clipping but we are clipping and the move that I'll be clipping with is localized tremor which is the second move along um, I'll be using that that's an AOE damage attack that dazed enemies will take more damage I'm say you know that's off cooldown or I need to clip like a trinket or something I will use my dazing devices which is the green thing that I keep throwing down to the floor that does a lot of damage and it's perfect for clipping it's a very fast cooldown it does lots of damage it is so important to this loadout it's unreal if I did if I redid this without the days and devices I would know definitely instantly you would see a big difference then I've got jackhammer never use jackhammer unless they are dazed and you've got your jackhammers like you've got your demi field down the dazed and now it's ready to punish them with jackhammer um, and then the last one is my sandblast when they're low on health st st stick your weapon at them throw a load of dust in their face and you're critting big time even though I'm precision based and we have a 
supercharge which gives a little bit of power which is always helpful anyway guys i hope you have enjoyed the video um make sure you like comment and subscribe if you haven't already